Welcome to part two um, of the haul video for Shibuya. We did a lot more shopping today than we did yesterday, so we're gonna get right to it. Um, starting with, I guess we can start with the mug that I got. One of my friends back in California, hey Jessica, um, collects mugs um, from Starbucks particularly from different areas, and so I got her the Tokyo mug. It's not very Japanesey, but it's really the Let's see. Yeah. It was really the only mug that they had. We had been to about three different Starbucks. Three or, four. Mm -hmm. three or four. And they're all the same. So that's what I got for Jessica to take back home. And then where do we go next? Do we uh, start off in uh, Donkey. We started off in Donkey. Yeah. yeah. Donkey is what they is the, the short term for Don Quixote. So we went to Don Quixote again. Yeah, we bought a bunch of bunch souvenir of stuff. stuff. First thing that I picked up were these socks. They're Japanese as far as socks, I guess you would say. They're mostly Japanese type merchandise. Uh, like this is a mayonnaise, which actually we do have. We bought little mayonnaise. And I bought the socks to match. Um, and I bought one that has takoyaki on it. Which we had, coincidentally, for dinner tonight. We had some mm -hmm. takoyaki. And I bought this one, which is the ice cream that I really, really like here. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I saw this one and I needed to have it. So I got it. And then we found some matcha milk powder I guess. I know I already bought matcha but I found matcha milk powder so same thing but just in a bigger quantity and I actually bought two. One for myself and one to send to my sister up in Nevada so I'm sure she'll be very happy. We will be able to recreate the um, green tea frappuccinos hopefully. <laughs> That's the idea from Starbucks. Um, I also bought this gift box of strawberry cheesecake uh, Kit Kats. And it's a really cute box. It makes for a nice uh, gift. Um, this is what it looks like. It's really cute. I bought some. Um, it is actually matcha azuki mochi, which is uh, green tea flavored with red bean mochi and it comes with three boxes so I got some for my sister up in Nevada and then for myself and I'm not sure what to do with the third but it'll be nice to just have an extra one for for whoever but I'm really excited to open these back at home <laughs> I love I love um, green tea I love mochi and I love red beans so this is like all together in one and then for my co-workers I got them this box I was attracted to it because of the panda because pandas are cute and this one ah! <laughs> uh, it's a matcha chiffon cake and they actually had a display box all of these gift type boxes that had cookies biscuits um, cakes mochi mochi they all had display boxes which was really cool the food here in Japan they will make plastic versions of it so they can be displayed so that people know what they're buying. And so this one was little green matcha chiffon cakes and the wrapper had a panda on it. So they look like little pandas. And look how cute they are. This one is sleepy. <laughs> and then lastly at Don Quixote. Uh, my niece loves these little, um, what they are is they're little uh, kits to make. This one in particular, you make donuts, so it comes with all the supplies that you need on the bag. Uh, so there's a little picture of the instructions, and you literally just make it at home in a few minutes. So I got her the donut ones, and I got her the ice cream ones, so I'm going to send this up to Utah, to my other sister, so that she can make them with her kids. And they're basically candies. Yes. It's very sweet. Mm -hmm. So like, they have, these are sweet ver versions, well, sweet themed ones. This is a donut and an ice cream, but they have like hamburgers, they have takoyaki ones, um, they're all really cute. 
Um, and then just as we were leaving Don Quixote, the, we found crane games with their mascot in them. And their mascot is like a penguin, I guess you would call it. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like a penguin. And I wanted to play. So anyway, I played one and I didn't get one. But a little old <laughs> Japanese lady was playing in the one next to us. And it had small little ones. And she won one. And she turned around and saw Jocelyn watching her play. <laughs> and she like hands her the one that she won. And I was like... I already have one. You can have this one. <laughs> Look how cute! So that was really nice of her. Mm -hmm. Where do we head to next? Afterwards, we stopped in H&M. We found some t-shirts we, we probably could find in America, but uh, we stopped to get them because they were on sale. So yeah. this is the first one. So Pam and I got the actually ended up getting matching shirts. So there's this one here. And then I got one that... Is this design? So just plain t-shirts. Add to my t-shirt collection because <laughs> I can never have too many. And then uh, after that, we uh, went out to eat with um, a girl who... Oh, before oh. that we went to Shibuya oh. 109. Yes. Shibuya 109 has two buildings. Um, one of them is for women and the other one is for men. And they are like eight floors worth of boutiques small little boutiques uh, with like they sell clothes there accessories and all that stuff so one of my friends from america she had requested that i buy a backpack for her and she said that it was only made and sold in japan and she sent me three of them that she wanted um one of the three that she wanted at least and if i could find it then i would get it for her and so I went looking today, we went to a couple of stores that had it, but we didn't find the exact ones that she wanted, and so we kept looking, but we finally found one at Shibuya 109. And so, it was this one. They're called Anello, the brand is Anello. Um, and they're actually really cute. So cute, in fact, that I bought one for myself. <laughs> and... They, the reason why I like them, and it's kind of like unique, I guess, but it's a very, I guess, an Asian style bag because of the way it opens. And so it opens like a square like that. So that's cute. And you can carry it around like a briefcase or it has backpack straps. But they're really cute. Oh, another thing is this opens on the side if you need to grab something really quick. Or you can open it from the top like I just showed you. I got this one for her. This is one of the ones that she wanted, if I could find any of the three that she had sent me. And I bought this maroon one for myself. It's smaller, but it's a good size for just travel. Same thing. It has a zipper on the side, opens up like that, and it's really cute. After we found the backpacks, we met up with uh, Ray. Ray is a girl who came and stayed with my family uh, in, in America. She was an exchange student about six years ago. She came and visited us, and then she came back about four, about four-ish years ago. And so we've always just kept in contact. So we met up with her, and we went out to eat at um, Izakaya, which is basically like a pub here in, in Japan, and she brought us gifts. So the first thing she brought is a basically like a hand towel. She bought, got this from Korea. Ray travels everywhere. She's been to many different countries. So she got, uh, brought us a towel from Korea. So her dad is Indian and brought some bath and body oil back from India. Uh, she also brought back some candles. Where'd she say the candles came from? She said they came from Bali. Uh, this one came from Bali. This one came from Bali. This, and we think that these flowers here, these probably came from, straight from Japan because they've got Japanese writing up on, on the back. Um, she also got a little, it's for, it, you can put it on your phone and it actually cleans your phone. It has this little finger pocket here. It's a cute little teddy bear. She also got uh, this is for the bath. It's like a bath. It's like bomb. a bath bomb. And then she got a uh, bath powder for us. What was this? Um, she just said this came from Macau, mm -hmm. but she didn't say what it is. But I mean, this is what it is. It's pretty. And 
I think that's everything we got today. We did a lot more shopping today than we have mm -hmm. any other day that we've been here in Japan. So got some souvenirs to take back home with us. So I'm sure we're going to be doing more of these because we still have to go to Tokyo Dome and we're going to Disneyland. And Disneyland, I know we're going to be buying stuff. So until then, good night.